You have a deep connection to this STS-99 mission that flew in 2000. Uh, we have to imagine we have 30 years of space shuttle, 135 missions, but you have a connection exactly to that mission. Yes. You were a teenager at the time and yeah. have carried an Apollo 11 and, 11 and an STS-99 pin-with you. Yeah. What is your special connection to these missions? I always carry the STS-99 pin-with me uh, and also on space flight because when I was 10, I was in a serious horse riding accident. I fell off my horse, which meant that I spent five years learning to walk again. And in that time period when I uh, had to relearn everything and I was, I'd lost my motor skills, I'd basically lost the use of my brain as well and everything had to be built up again. My teacher said, since I couldn't go to school, I should just study something I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. And at that time, that was STS-99. And he spent years preparing the mission and NASA was talking about it online. So mm -hmm. I could log onto the internet from my home in Norway and learn about this space mission. And I didn't know what 3D was. And then eventually uh, I could talk to other other teenagers online on online chat groups and we were trying to find out what is 3D and we started taking pictures in yeah. 3D and then I decided there and then that I wanted to be, I couldn't be an astronaut because I had a serious injury and my body wasn't healthy yeah. but I could become a stereographer yeah. and that's what the STS-99 uh, mission uh, inspired me to follow and follow mm -hmm. my dreams. And I even asked NASA if I could talk to the astronauts for my school project and if I could interview them. But unfortunately, the email was answered six months after I sent it. Oh. So mm -hmm. it wasn't really possible. But, but, but now after 25 years, you, you got to meet yesterday yes. four of the crew members. Yes. Uh, uh, I think this was exciting for me. Because